minus 30. T minus 30 WGS. seconds. Go WGS. Minus Greenboard. 25. Light lock in. Minus 22. SRM TVC blowdown. Minus 15. Arp igniter. Rough ignition. T minus 10. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6. We have ignition of the RS 68 main engine. 2, 1. And we have liftoff of the Delta IV launch vehicle carrying the WGS 6 satellite for the United States Air Force. The wideband global SATCOM satellite provides significantly increased capacity for our nation's leaders, warfighters, and international partners. Covering from the initial launch transients as we're passing 25 seconds. Mark, 25 seconds in. Still looking. You good. are hearing the voice of Steve Agad providing launch vehicle ascent data. Altitude passing two and a half miles, 36 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. 42 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure is beginning to drop on the four solid rocket motors as expected. Good symmetrical burn. Coming up 50 seconds. Mark, 50 seconds, max Q. Maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle as we're approaching the one minute mark. Mark, one minute into the flight. Altitude now 7.7 .7 nautical miles. Velocity 2,998 feet per second. Five miles downrange. Coming up one minute, 10 seconds. Mark, one minute, 10 seconds. Chamber pressure holding solid in the first stage. One minute, 15 seconds. Second stage systems coming online. The hydrazine supply valve is now open in the vehicle. One minute, 25 seconds. Standing by for a solid rocket motor burnout just a few seconds from now. And we have burnout standing by for separation. And we have Provision of the solid rocket boosters. One minute, 54 seconds into the flight. The Delta vehicle now only weighs one half of what it did at launch some two minutes ago, expelling propellant at the rate of 1,850 pounds per second. This this is Delta Mission Control at T plus two minutes and 11 seconds. Steve Agat just confirmed jettison of all four solid rocket motors, and the mission continues nominally. Our next event is payload fairing jettison, scheduled to take place in just over a minute. Let's go back to Steve Agat. Two minutes, 35 seconds in. The maximum uh, fairing skin temperature occurring at this time. Two minutes, 44 seconds. Altitude now passing 47 nautical miles, velocity 8,573 feet per second, downrange distance 72.4 nautical miles. Chamber pressure continuing to hold in the main engine, good engine control. Coming up on the three minute mark. Mark, three minutes, still looking good. Standing by for our payload fairing jettison occurring about uh, 15 seconds from now. And we've had a good payload fairing jettison. Three minutes, 42 seconds in. Still looking good. We'll be going to the partial thrust command for the first stage to go down to the partial thrust mode. Standing by at four minutes. And we've had partial thrust command. Standing by for Miko. And we've had Miko, main engine has cut off. Standing by for one, two, sep, and we have one, two stage separation. Next deploy is in work. We 
Get igniter spark standing by for ignition, and we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage, chamber pressure rising. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. Four minutes, 38 seconds in. Flight events occurring very close to the anticipated time. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus, four minutes and 49 seconds. We've just heard the voice of Steve Agad report successful execution of events comprising the early portion of this evening's mission. The mission is now in its first of two planned RL-10 second stage engine burns and all systems continue to operate nominally. This burn will last approximately 20 minutes.